Okay, we're going to get started here. Normally, your pins are going to stay in. I'm having a little bit of a problem with them right now. They're, these are not very long, and I don't have it wired from the other side to help pull the, the wire tight. But normally, it's, they're going to stay in. It's not going to be a problem. And um, I like to start at the bottom of the wall and work up. Everybody has something different. Some people start at the top and work down. It just depends on what you like. But it's easier, especially if it's, your cement's too wet or something, um, to start from the bottom and kind of build on it and work your way up the wall. But uh, I'm going to start right here in the, mi uh, the middle because we're not going to have time to do the whole wall anyway. So I'm just going to give you an idea of how you're going to put it on. So you're going to kind of lean into the bale and push it in through the, the wire as tight as you can. And see, I'm already getting it to stay, even though it's not pulled tight, it's actually going to stay pretty good. So, and then you're just going to keep packing it in there until it seals solid against the bale. And you'll be able to see that it's pushing it up solid into the bale there. And your, your bottom coat, you're not going to leave smooth like this because you need your other coats of concrete to adhere to it. So once you get it up in there, you know it's solid onto the wall, you're going to just put a little thing like this so it has like little trenches and whatever so the other concretes can... That you're gonna, the next, the next uh, batch can adhere to it. It's, it won't be smooth and snap off and break off. So you're just going to work the concrete in. And your base coat can be thick. I mean, you can put it, you know, an inch thick, two inches thick, whatever you want. That's your base coat. You're going to go over. Some people only do co two coats, and some people do three coats. So, um, well, they do two coats of concrete, and then they do a finished stucco coat. So it's just depending on how much money you want to spend, how much time you want to spend, and what you want it to look like, and how long you want it to be durable. There's lots of things to consider. So then once we get it up, we're going to just do this all the way along the wall. And then you let it dry, and when it's thoroughly dry several days later, you'll go up and you'll put the second coat up. 